Another question. It's an easy question. If the mark of God, the seal of God is the mark of who remembers what the mark of God is? Raise your hand. The seal of God, the mark of God. Who remembers what it is? Raise your hand. Uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. What is the seal of God? Um, that's the mark of God. Uh, it's the laws. The laws. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you another question. It's an easy question. If the mark of God, the seal of God is the law, what is the mark of the beast? That's sin. Oh, very good. Thank you. I thought you were going to say something else. I thought he was going to come out with a microchip. I said, if this guy yeah. comes out with a damn microchip. <laughs> now, I'm going to clear that up because we went over last week about digital currency. And, you know, Esau has plan A, B, and C. They might throw a microchip out there, but that's not the mark of the beast. Sin is the mark of the beast. Everybody got that? Yeah. I hope y'all taking notes. Take notes. Take Shalom, shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. That's giving our praise to the Most High. The name is only begotten Son, name the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth is sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Okay. Real quick, I want to just touch on this video. Speaking of um, this guy, Nate, you know, uh, Bishop Nate from the IUIC. He said that the um, mark of the B was... I got and, and we got to talk like this for the algorithm, but this guy can say it freely because they're you know, obviously teaching false doctrine, okay, and deceiving the masses. But look at his face that he's making, man. Okay, he said that the that, that the M to the O to the T to the B was sin, okay, which is completely false. And he knows he he's he, he's lying, man. Okay, he knows he's wrong. He knows he's deceiving his people. This man has sold out. Watch his face. Y'all taking notes? Take notes. Take. Just take notes, take notes, and he's just looking down like, you know, that's, and as a matter of fact, watch how he just, you know. A microchip out there, but that's not the mark of the beast. Sin is the mark of the beast. Everybody got that? I hope y'all taking notes. Take notes, take The Lord said there's going to be many false prophets to come into the earth, man. Okay, you can't be simple. You got to know to beware, you know, and watch out for these guys, okay, teaching these false doctrines because he's leading his whole congregation to death and destruction, okay, because the M to the O to the T to the B is not sin, okay, and he, and, and he said that the Ezekiel 9 is talking about, um, that's the law of the Most High, which that's not true either, okay, and he's, you know, his, his followers, they don't really study, they don't really know, they just go there, they, you know, it's just like a Christian church, and, you know, he's like a pastor just up there just, you know, spewing out madness, and they just listen to Whatever he say, cause he got on his fancy garment, you know. The Lord talks, you know, sp spoke about these guys wearing these, you know, extravagant garments like this, man. This is too much. Like, come on, man. What is that? Okay. He seen them there with 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 with, with, with the, the nappy hair with with the, you know, uh, platinum gold, you know, garment on, man. That's you know, he's boasting. He or he's um, exalting himself. And he's doing that to, to, to beguile, you know, Jake, man, you know, to pretty much deceive Jake. It says, First John chapter 1, verse 8, if any man say uh, that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Because that's what they're saying. They're saying that, that they, they know that the M, that, 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 they know that M to the... They, they know what the M to the O to the T to the B is, okay? <laughs> you got to be very careful because of this, you know, this, this, this algorithm. But they know uh, that 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 that, that technology or that that thing is bad for you. Okay, I'm going to call it that thing. They know that, that that thing is bad for you, but they're saying that it's sin. So if they're saying that, they're saying that they don't sin. And that's what a lot of these different camps teach. That's what IUIC teach. You know, pretty much that if you keep the laws because you, you know, wear shirt fringes and, you know, don't eat pork, you know, as far as you know, um, that you're, you know, keep it, keeping all the laws when that's not the truth. You know, it says if we say that we have no sin, we have we deceive ourselves then the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, we have he is faithful and just to forgive our to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. If we say that we have no, not sinned, 
we make him a liar and his word is not in us. And this man is deceiving people, telling them that they don't sin. Okay, if they just don't eat pork and wear some shirt fringes. Okay. And the whole time, hey, we all sin. We all fall short, man. Okay, and this is why the Lord has to come back and deliver us. The Lord has to make things right because things aren't right right now, man. Okay, but the Lord is going to make things right. Okay. It says, um, verse 8, if we, if we say that we have no sin... We deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Okay, the truth is not in us if we say that, man. Okay, so these guys are saying that they, that, that, that they don't sin. Because whoever take this thing, apparently they're going to be, you know, sinning. Okay, and you can't... I'm asking another... You can't use sin to buy and sell. Okay? You got to actually go into the scriptures and break down these words to get the, the proper understanding. Okay? So, I ain't going to make this too long. Okay, I don't want to, you know... So I'm trying to... It's an it easy question. If the mark of God, the seal of God is the law, what is the mark of the beast? Uh, sin. Oh, very good. Thank you. I thought you were going to say something else. I thought he was going to come out with a microchip. I said, if this guy yeah. comes out with a damn microchip. Yeah. Now, I'm going to clear that up because we went over last week about digital currency. And, you know, Esau has plan A, B, and C. They might throw a microchip out there, but that's not the mark of the beast. Sin is the mark of the beast. Everybody got that? I hope y'all taking notes. Take notes. Take take notes. Take notes. So it's the way he just, you know, that, that was very crafty and deceiving. And, you know, Jake is like a sheep. You know, they're very simple. Our people are very, you know, gullible. You know, they, they, they'll, they'll fall for, 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 for the glitz and the glamour, you know. And, and the majority of them aren't deep, you know. And I know that because it's a woman on um, IG who messaged me re uh, recently, a couple of days ago, maybe. And she's talking to me about the Florex thing, you know, about investing and stuff, you know, whatever, you know, that's about. But then I go on her page and I see that she says that she's married and she has kids. And then she, her whole page, you know, is Nate. Okay, the whole page is Nate. And I was going to show it, but, you know, it's not important. But the whole page is pictures of Nate, you know, and then she has Yahweh in her bio. Okay, so Nate is leading his congregation astray. Okay, Nate is destroying the flock, man. He's scattering the flock, okay? Teaching these false doctrines, these heresies, and these, you know, false names and stuff, man. Okay, this is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. It says, And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city and through the midst of Jerusalem, which Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, and set a mark upon the foreheads of them that sigh and cry, and uh, for all the abominations that are done in the midst thereof, so the ones that are sighing and crying, which are the the the, the men of the Lord, okay, the, the elect, okay, the true children of God, okay, that are in the right minds are the ones that sigh and crying that hates this place, but the wicked are in love with this place. They 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 they, they enjoy this place. They don't want it to end, you know. They 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 make it all about gain and glitz and glamour, right, right, rather than Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, it says, and to the others, she said, in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eye spare, neither have pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon wh wh whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. And they began at the ancient men, which were before the house, which, you know, when you go into the scriptures talking about how, you know, judgment is going to come upon, you know, these these men that know they're Israelites, man. And it's going to start with the ancient men, the heads of these camps, like like like, like, like Nate, you see. But he told his congregation that, that this mark was talking about the law. But this mark, okay, when you go into the blue letter, let's grab it. When you go into the blue letter for, for this word uh, mark in Ezekiel chapter 9. The scripture says, study to share yourself approve, that you be not ashamed, okay, and teaching false doctrines and ultimately be destroyed, okay? It says, set a mark. I'm going to go down. Yeah, let, yeah, let's go here. Set a mark. If we already know what the word is. Strong's H, 8420. Tav. Tav. It says, desire mark. Mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. Okay, so this is what this mark is in Ezekiel 9. It's in the sign, okay, which is spiritual mark for exemption from judgment. Okay, now when you go into the other mark that, that he mentioned, 
okay? Which we always go into it, but I gotta be very careful about it because the yeah, he's devil there. You know, they're they're clip they're clipping my whole channel right now. I got two channels, I got two strikes, and I can't even post on them right now. They're gonna be out of commission for about two, three months. Okay, so and you know, especially even mentioning these guys. You know, Nate, don't don't get me blocked, man. Okay, not too long ago, these guys were marching with the Freemasons. Okay, so they're not for your betterment. They're not teaching you the truth. Okay, it's time to wake up. It's time to graduate. Okay, when you first come into this truth, yeah, you see IUIC. You know, you see the purple shirts. You 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 watch a, co a couple of the fancy videos. But the Lord said, grow in the grace thereof. It's time to wake up, man. Okay, and I remember, um, you know, you know, when I first came into this truth. You know, I actually linked up with certain guys in my area and they were actually IUIC rejects. They either left or got kicked out of IUIC. Okay. And because of that, they, um, because of that, they, uh, they, they pretty much, um, you know, they, they, they was kind of doing their, they was kind of doing their own thing. Okay. And, and they set up a camp or whatever. It was called, um, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> But I remember we asked these guys a question and they did the same thing that, that Nate did right there, man. You know, they played that semantics bullshit, you know, to deceive the simple. She was talking about how they deceive the hearts of the simple. Let me grab that real quick. They deceive the hearts of the simple, man. Okay. It says, Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions. And offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. The Lord told us to mark them. Which we will go into this word too. Okay, we'll go into this word too. But it said to mark them, right? Um, it says, For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, but their own belly. This guy, Nate, is serving his own belly, man. That guy is serving his own belly. That's why he's, you know, dressing that um, extravagant garment. He's serving his own belly. He's not serving Yahweh Bashiach, Shai. And it's gonna get found out, you know. Hey, hey, man, pretty soon faith, like El Apostle Hart said, when 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 this Karakma come in, faith is gonna have to set in, man. You know, you were gonna be straight to the line on faith. You, know, you ain't gonna be able to do all this, you know, funny talking, man, to 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 your own people, destroying them. It says, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions, and a, and a, cause divisions and offenses. It's just as an offense. That's why we gotta speak on these things. Contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, we, we have learned the, the pure doctrine, and this guy's going contrary to that. The Lord said, and avoid them. So avoid them. And we gotta mark you by telling the people who you are. Okay? It says, For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which they call upon Christ. It says, But their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts, which means minds, the word heart uh, goes into law. Okay? They deceive the minds of the simple. And in IUIC, you got a bunch of simple people, man. Okay, you know, you got some people that's going to wake up and come out of that. But the majority of them, hey, man, they're simple, man. They're simple. Okay? And you can't be simple in this thing, man. Okay, it's time to wake up. It's time to stop being simple. And seek your help by Yon But we notice that it's only for the elect. And only the elect are going to be delivered. Okay? Not all of IUIC. Okay, IUIC say that, you know, that, that great army in uh, uh, Jeremiah, I believe, oh no, no, Joel chapter 2, is them marching down for, for Kyrie Irving. That's garbage, man. That's garbage. It's absolute garbage, man. Let's go here. Um, Revelation. No, 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 no. Uh, so I can, I'm going to go to Romans. We're going to grab this, this, uh, this mark in the scriptures because, you know, there's different meaning for all these words. You got to go into the meaning of these words, man. Okay. Nate just made that up. You know, Nate pretty much made that up, man. You know, on the fly. And he, and he taught his congregation that. On the fly. Okay. And now they're, you know, confused. Don't know what's going on. So, I can, let me grab um, Romans. Chapter 16. Let's go to verse 17. It says, oh, yep, yep. Let's go to this word, Mark. Strong's G, 4648, Scapeo. Scapeo, yep. Scapeo. It says, to look at, observe, contemplate, to mark, to fix one's eyes upon. You got to pay, 
put, put your eyes on these guys. Pay attention. Direct one's attention to anyone to look to, to take heed to 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 heed thy it's like you take heed to thyself. Okay, so you gotta be you, you gotta be careful, you know. The Lord told us to mark these guys, man. Okay, and that's what we do. You know, that's what we do. We marking these guys through the spirit of your whole you know, shine let you know that they're going off according to the scriptures, man. Now let's go back. Let's go back to um, Revelation chapter 13. And we sh and you should know this. If you if you watching this video, you should know what this is by now, man. Okay, I shouldn't have to go into this, but I'll go into it real quick. Do a briefing for those that don't know, in case some of you I UIC members were, were in the crowd of that video with Nate and you confused. This is Re um, Revelation chapter 13, verse. Let's get right to the point. It says, um, you know, and these guys don't, don't, don't even got who the beast is, right? But let's get right to the point. It says, uh, Revelation 13, verse 15, it says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, and that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay, now the beast, okay, is the Roman Empire, NATO, and the EU. Okay, combined, okay, which is the Roman Empire brought back. Okay, Esau was uh, uh, impoverished and he built back in the desolate places, and now he's in power again. Okay, now he wants to establish a new world order, which is the image of the beast. Okay, not no, um, you know, no picture of Cesare Borgia, which is what they teach. So they don't even understand that. It's the new world order. It's this new system, this beast system. They want to establish upon this earth. And a part of that beast system is they want to put technology in your body, okay, to make you, uh, you know, hey, they, they say they send it in the next two two to three months. Everything is going digital. They're talking about digital currencies right now, man. Okay, so these guys telling his people that it's sin. Why, this, why, why your government's telling you talking about digital currency, okay? They ain't talking about sin. Majority of your 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 your, your, your you know um, government doesn't even believe in you know the Bible, <laughs> okay? They believe in Satan, okay, and money, okay, and the new money is going to be digital, and it, and ultimately if you don't, you know, you got the spirit, then then you're gonna fall for it, man. A lot of people in his camp fell for that. Yeah, Passover came and he said that people in this camp, you know, had died after he told him to take that shit. So, hey, man, if you follow this guy, the scripture says, hey, the blind, uh, let me grab it. And this is scary, man. This is why we got to fear. We can continue to serve you, how about you, know, shy, uh, and, 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 and truth and sincerity and in fear, man. The Lord said, um, uh, that, that let every man work out his own salvation with fear and trembling. This ain't about fanning after some guy in some fucking golden garment man okay some plastic golden garment this is about uh uh understanding the truth of, of your whole boss and your shy and seek out such as be like thee and do the work man you know do the work you know do the work okay in truth and sincerity this is um matthew chapter 15 verse 13 it says but he answered and said every plant which my heavenly father have not planted Shall be rooted up. Let them alone. Leave them people. Hey, just get get away from them. If you and I, you I seen watching this video, or you watch, you I seen watching this video. Stop watching them. Get away from those guys. It says, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. Nate is a blind leader of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. So if the blind lead the blind, guess what? They both gonna fall into the ditch. I U I C as a whole is gonna fall into that ditch, man. Unless you know, and, and obviously the elect are going to be, are, 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 are going to come out of that, man. You know, and then you got people questioning. You got people, you know, asking questions. You got people, you got people leaving, you know. But Nate have put a heavy spell upon these people. Okay, so let's go back to Revelation 13. It says, verse 16, it says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma. In their right hand or in their foreheads okay he said he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond so everybody okay everybody when who was sin given i mean who was what is sin the transgression of the law 
I U S C notice. If you watch, go to I U S C, you should notice. And then what's um, said so it's a transgression of the law. Who is the law given to the Israelites? So this this right here says that um, if everybody take if if anybody takes this, everybody's going to going to have to take this. Okay. It says free and bond shall receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay. We're going to go into this word karagma. And, he, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the karagma and, uh, and the name of the beast and the number of his name. So you ain't going to be able to buy or sell unless you have this thing, man. And when we go into this word karagma, And this is what IUIC should be doing, so like, yeah. And Nate knows this, man. That that look he, he, he did was very, you know, it was very shysty, man. It was a shysty look he made. He, he knows what he's doing. But he has to do it. It's his lot. Just like Judas, he had to go give that gold or, 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 or collect that gold. He had to give up the Lord. He, he, had, he had to be a demon, man. That was his lot, man. And you got to understand that everybody has their own lot. You know, really, we can't even interfere with that. You know, and, all, and that's why all, all we can do is warn others. You know, you see da you see danger near. We got to warn others like the watchman the Lord called us to be. Well, guess what? We, we, we watching you too, Nate. The Lord said to put the uh, scopeo on your ass. Okay. To mark them. Let's go. Uh. So this is Revelation. Yeah, let's go to this mark right here in, in Revelation 13. So lucky. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, that's not it. So lucky. Strong's G, 5480, Haragma, 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 it says a stamp and an imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or on the right hand as the badge, Salakia, I'm getting exhausted man, I'm exhausted but Man, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out. It says, um, of the of of the mark stamped on the forehead of the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist, and we know that's you know there's many Antichrists, which is really you know the badge gonna be a it's gonna be a badge, a token until you being a part of this beast system, you being a a part of the new world order. Okay, you are a a, 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 a law abiding citizen in this place, in their beast system. Is a mark branded upon horses. When you see a, a, a mark, or when you see a horse get branded, is is not that physical? Is that not a physical thing? Okay. It is an actual action going on there. Okay. It says, thing carved, sculptured, graven work, and a, of idolaters. Oh, that's not, that's not. But it says, a thing carved, sculptured, graven. Okay. Uh, a graven work you know and this right here you know this shows you that hey the lord is uh exposing these you know these false prophets man for them to say that that's completely against the scriptures man you know and, and, and I, just, I just had to you know put, put, put in my you know my two shekels on it you know land back and i really think everybody should you know do a video touching on this topic of what nate, nate just said and, and what the true karagma is but you know, I know it's you know it's gonna be iffy because even even me is kind of tough going through this topic with the algorithm. Yeah, they, they still might take this video down, and I and I pray they don't. You know, let me go here, and I'm gonna close out only. It's too long, so let's go here.
it says you see the Lord told us to beware okay this is uh, Matthew chapter 7 verse 15 beware of false prophets pro false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravening wolves and these guys are false prophets so that's why they come with those you know fancy garments on okay those fancy garments on man but inwardly they are ravening wolves man okay completely off it says um and many uh matthew chapter 24 verse 11 and many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many you got that happening right now with this whole uh second covenant thing king david thing you got all these guys just you know losing their mind man okay you got guys come, come come out of nowhere talking about they king david they got you know they they got two trick daddy videos liking they damn you know what's going on man no works so you got to beware you know it says I'm in off with this. This is First John chapter four, verse one. It says, "Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they be of the Most High, because many false prophets are gone out into the world." So, if anybody's teaching or speaking about the Lord, you gotta, you gotta, you, you can't just believe that spirit because they're talking about God. Oh, they say God. Oh, they, no, they, they believe. Nah, you gotta try. You know, or they got fringes on. Nah, you gotta. Uh, you don't believe every spirit, but you gotta try the spirit, man. You know. Try the spirit, you know. That's the point, you know. Ain't no need to bet, beat a dead horse. Salakia, so ain't no need to bet a dead horse. Um, my prayers lessons the edifying so for elect. I just wanna add my, my uh, two shekels. Shalom, Kwame Shrela, Baba Ball.